Hello, you beautiful people. It's Ophelia Neighbor of One once again. And this time I'd like to just give a very, very big, big, big thanks to all of you guys that have made the channel what it is today and helping me attain 250 plus subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I'll be doing a 250 subscriber giveaway uh, later on. But as you can see right here, this is for me to emphasize the DNC escalation stages from one, stage 101 all the way to stage 150 where the boss will be. So from stages 101 to 140, which is the stage we are tackling right now, it's pretty much the same thing. It will start to summon uh, two blocks right at the beginning and later on it will start to summon one column of uh, blocks. So with that you can use Mega such as uh, Mega Steelix. Uh, actually just bring in Dialga with you. You can use whichever Mega you want. As long as the Dialga is actually there to actually take care of the Metal Blocks disruptions. And if you're going to use Mega Steelix, try to keep enough uh, Mega Blocks, Metal Blocks uh, onto the stage. So it can, Mega Steelix can actually do more damage. But as you can see right here, uh, I'm starting to use Mega Verquaza since mine is actually fully candid and as you can see a lot of combos to really get the stage over and done with because as you guys know from stages 201 to 140 is pretty much the same repetitive stage format two blocks in the beginning followed by a column of uh, blocks probably midway midway of the stage so yeah that's pretty much it so Mega Steelix can work Mega Verquaza can work Mega Gengar with Dialga can work. Uh, Jirachi with Mega Melrai also can work as well. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. But from stages 141 all the way to stages 149, there is a slight, there will be a slightly more difficult. But again, it is pretty manageable. All right, so again, I'll be using the same team, Mega Rapaza team. Uh, it can also work just as well with uh, Mega Gengar and whatnot. So as you can see, this time instead of summoning blocks straight off the bat, it actually summons three barriers. So if you see any barriers right at the top, it will be a good idea to actually get rid of any topmost barriers. And yeah, just get your Mega up and running and yeah, uh, same old same old really. Alright, so Mega Vakaza should be able to Mega Evolve on the next turn. And yeah, it's it's really pretty much that. Alright, so we got Mega Vakaza up and running. And yeah, you can start to see all, more, all the combos pretty much. Uh, yeah. Really, really, really... As long as you got Mega, Mega Akasa makes things that much easier, quite honestly. And yeah, so it it put it, it'll, it won't be that much, it won't be that difficult. So instead of it summoning a, a column of blocks, like from stages 101 to stages 140, it summons actually a column of barriers. So again, if you have a Mega, which is probably Mega Gengar or Mega Verquaza, uh, I think those two Megas can really handle the barriers. Those are probably the best two Megas that can really handle the barriers. You can also bring Mega DNC as well, but quite honestly, eh, it is manageable. The barriers aren't that much of a problem for Megas such as Mega Gengar or Mega Verquaza to actually take care of it. Alright, so we're actually on stage 142. So again, I just want to show you guys it's pretty much the same same format. But anyway, uh, let's just jump straight into the boss battle which is actually stage 150. Alright, so with this stage I'll be... Again, I don't want to touch any of the freebies so I'll just be settling with plus 5 moves and an attack boost and let's try this then because I did pretty well uh, for stage 50 I did it with plus 5 moves stage 100 I also did it with plus 5 moves 
And yeah, I'm hoping this can actually work out really well as well. So I want to get Mega Rokosa, same thing, up and running as quickly as possible. I'm not expecting to do too much damage. Then again, Rokosa is actually not very effective against this, against this stage. But once Mega Rokosa is up, totally different story. Alright, so it's really really tough at the start, but the and you must and actually after the first two turns it will start to summon its barrier disruption so having that in mind it's very really 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 hard to get any big combos up and running the first two stages uh, so I would recommend for the first two turns uh, it's uh, probably a good idea just to make as many mega icon matches as possible because on the second turn it will start to summon its barrier disruptions once again Alright, so Mega Rokosa is actually up and running. So... Hmm... Still manageable. Uh, we got potential Mega Rokosa matches. So I may put the Dialga side by side together and go for this match. Not that great, but it still looks quite promising. So as you can see, our first six moves actually weren't as good as it should be, uh, dealing really minimum damage to uh, the NC itself. But I'm pretty sure with Mega Rokasa, things will pick up quite soon. Would have been nice if we can actually get a poisonous smith once in a while, but who needs poisonous smiths actually when you actually got well a fully candy maker of course, uh, I will go as far as to say as this is actually probably most likely the best mega for this stage. Uh some place might disagree because oh it's it's not very effective. But it has the potential of being a pseudo complexity minus two. And with that in mind, uh, it can really really do wonders. Uh, even in future boss stages in stage 200 and above, if you're actually going to use a complexity, uh, why not use a mega which is also a pseudo complexity minus 2 as well. So that's where I feel the combos can really really start to stack up. So again, not probably the be not the best situation that we have ourselves in, but by matching, doing a Mega Rokasa match, hopefully it can actually remove either the topmost Dialga or the Kobo Lion. And it actually removes the Kobo Lion. Okay, so now since the blocks rocks are really stacking up, I decided to do a double match with Crobat and Mega Rokasa. And as you can see, all the disruptions are gone just like that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. So the same thing applies. What you just guys want to do is basically try to get as rid of as many disruptions as possible. And if you're using Mega Vakuaza or Mega Gengar, just try to get the match. Yeah, just... Uh, yeah, break the barriers. Try to make as many combos as possible. And yeah. And if that happens, you can even get such a crazy combo like this. 21 combo that we have. So if you guys remember actually the first 6 turns we actually did pretty bad. But I think in the last the last 3 turns, including this. And yeah, it should be good enough to actually get rid of it. Alright, so with that we actually defeated... Uh, the stage 150 boss uh, with 7 moves left so actually we did not even need the plus 5 moves attack boost was pretty much enough for Mega Vakuasa to do its work so I think in the last 3 or 4 turns we actually did 
close to probably half of the NC's damage. So I think that's pretty insane. Alright, and we got the Mega Speeder as well, so... Yeah, really really great so far. So guys, thank you all for watching. If you do, drop a like, share it with friends. I really hope this helps. Subscribe if you want to and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.